Hello everyone. Today I have a treat for you. I'm doing my own boots. Got these at a thrift store. Excuse me, at a thrift store here in town in San Antonio for $20. They originally looked like this boot right here, and I shined this one. I did that to demonstrate what a boot should look like and what it may look like in you, you know, someone's care. <laughs> or lack thereof so um, I'm going you know this is part of a grander experiment I, I want to see how long um, I can make a pair of boots last with shoe shining right and, and and I really would like to demonstrate to all of you how long that will be so these boots will be reoccurring on the channel um, from time to time you'll see me maintain them and you'll see this one fade away, and you'll see this one uh, shine, hopefully. <laughs> and let's see, let's do a little bit of maintenance. So we'll do, we'll put this one aside. We'll focus on the one we want to maintain. And if you notice, sometimes there are little strings and little burrs around. This one's a bit long. Try to get it in there so you can see. Almost can't see it. The camera doesn't want to show it. Like on this one, right here, you can see that there's some strings. All right. And if you have those on your shoes or your boots, all you gotta do take a little bit of fire. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Don't play with fire. <laughs> Just a little bit. And burn them off. Let's see if I can get into this so you can see better. It's important not to hold the flame in one area, just keep it moving and you'll be all right. Yeah. There we go. So these are pretty all, all you know, pretty shiny already, but We'll just do a little bit of leather lotion and a layer of polish. Maybe a layer of high shine wax as well. So just real quick over the entire boot. Knocking any dust off. There's anything stuck on that I really can't see. The dauber will get. We're gonna kind of buff it off, wipe it off. Sometimes I'll forget my buffing cloth, this one right here, and I'll be uh, I'll be without, but. If I use this one, I can get a really good shine as well. One of those things you have to think on your feet sometimes. Sometimes I'll travel to a place and uh, I'll forget something in my kit and I'll have to improvise. Improvise, adapt, and overcome, they say. Just a little tiny bit. This is Marine Cordovan from... Lincoln. Lincoln stain wax. We're just going to do a light layer. There's already a lot of polish on these boots. If I see any areas where they need a little more, I'll put a little more, but really it's just a light layer. over it with a light finger just to get rid of any hard lines I like to put my stuff away as I go so there's not a big mess like 
can only get my kids to do that. Life will be better. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So I want to hear about your guys' boots. Write down in the comments what kind of boots you plan on getting or boots that you've had in the past. I want to hear why you wouldn't buy a pair of boots. Maybe you live in a tropical area and it's just too hot all the time. Let me know. And let me know where you're all from too. What country are you? No, don't put your address or anything. A little high shine from Pure Polish. This is important to note as a shoe shiner, if you're gonna be doing multiple pairs throughout the day, you can't always be going to wash your hands every every single shine. Oh, I gotta wash my hands, oh, I gotta wash my hands. Sometimes there's a line and you have to do one after the other. Boom, 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 boom. So what I do is I make my left hand the color hand, right? My right hand is for neutral only. Reason being is because when I go shake someone's hand, it's gonna be my right hand, right? And I don't want that hand to appear filthy like like this one. Which which hand would you rather shake, you know? <laughs> so uh, I remember one time I was working at the airport doing shoe shines out there, and I was using my right hand for the color. I was kind of just trading back and forth. I didn't really think about it that much and I went to reach for someone's hand to shake their hand to greet them and he pulled back and went oh my god your hands are filthy and uh, made him feel uncomfortable and I you know apologized but after that I thought oh I gotta I gotta change this I gotta I gotta use neutral for my right hand you know <laughs> so if you're gonna be a shoe shiner these things to note I mean you could wear gloves too if you want to that kind of gets it's like an added expense that you don't really need. But um, you could if you wanted to. This is just my personal preference, what works for me. You do you. Easy maintenance. Easy maintenance. What I recommend folks do is they do like a full high shine on their shoes, right? And then once a week or or every other week or something like that, whenever you got time, add a layer of polish. Put a little leather lotion on there, you know. Um, just do a little bit of maintenance and br brush it out, buff it out. You'll have something like this. Yeah, you'll save a lot of time. You'll save a lot of effort, you know, and you'll maintain your shoes and your boots for years and years to come. If you found this video um, entertaining or if you learned something, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.